Hi guys from Pax Arubiana. I'm now talking about Austrian foreign policy because Karl Neheimer, our Chancellor, Prime Minister from Austria, is going to Moscow now. And that's absolutely wrong. I can just, um, I was appalled when I read the news. I now understand why he went to Kiev, uh, because he was basically betraying Klitschko and betraying Zelensky, behaving like a friend and just giving him the legitimacy of the visit to Ukraine, that he can then go in the contract and orders of Wolfgang Schüssel uh, to Moscow to whitewash uh, the war criminal Putin. And that's very appalling. I'm absolutely against such a visit. And it is the same visit I criticized in 2018 of Sebastian Kurz uh, to go to Putin uh, to endorse his fourth mandate, which was already very questionable and illegitimate. And it has led to this war. Wolfgang Schüssel organized the visit of his uh, student uh, Sebastian Kurz in 2018 to endorse the fourth uh, uh, term of Putin and to get uh, his look oil mandate and the other contracts and the, G and the gas for Austria and all these deals and the Siberian gas fields, which were so costly now for the Austrian taxpayer and for the Austrian government uh, owned company OMV. Billions were lost with all these uh, Schüssel transactions, um, which um, Sebastian had to do. He probably had even no choice. He was just told to go. And uh, the same is now with Karl. Karl Neheimer, a chancellor without legitimacy and without mandate, he was never elected. He was now just replacing Sebastian. Now, when we all try to ostracize and to isolate Russia, he is going as the only Western statement in the war to shake the hand, the dirty, bloody hand of Putin, the war criminal, the butcher of butcher. And he is doing that criminal activity and it's treason, I think. Uh, and I'm absolutely sure to call it treason. And also personally, because how it happened. Nehammer got the invitation meeting in the Berlin uh, visit two weeks ago. He shake the hand of Klitschko, who is a naive but very nice guy. And he thought that this guy is serious. Klitschko organized the Zelensky uh, visit of Karl um, two days ago. And then when he came back and behaved like a friend, he was then making the statement that uh, he will go to Moscow and today at three o'clock he will go to Moscow and then he will shake with the hand, uh, still warm from Zelensky and Klitschko, uh, where they made a high five and the friendship of man between uh, the Austrians and the Ukrainians and then he's betraying them, stabbing him in the back at the moment when Putin prepares the big uh, military assault uh, in the second phase of the war against the east of Ukraine and then uh, basically in the television audience of Russia, Austrian Chancellor will be presented as a friend of Putin. He, you can still talk to the war criminal and it's just the crazy English and Americans uh, who are uh, so much against Russia and that will be the line they will put in the Russian television. And Karl Neheimer goes for all the wrong reasons there. He doesn't want to be a bridge. He doesn't want to be uh, neutral uh, by going to both. Yeah? No, he's betraying the Ukrainians and Europe and uh, European Austria. It's a very big shame. I hope that he will resign after this and that the Greens break the coalition and there will be a coalition against him and the end of Nehammer as a political player and the end of Wolfgang Schüssel, who is behind all this. Yeah? That has to come. And a complete change of Austrian foreign policy, energy policy towards uh, the West. And that is what Alois Mock would do. And that is the legacy of Alois Mock, which Wolfgang Schüssel has betrayed now for 15 years, tragically and dramatically, for his own commercial benefit and to the loss of Austrian taxpayers from tens of billions of euros over time. Because we see now that the whole energy pivot towards Russia was a big mistake. The whole foreign policy um, pivot to Russia was a big strategic mistake. And Austria, please, Finland will join, Sweden will join NATO. It's time to join NATO now and to be a normal Western European country and not a kind of successor state of North Yugoslavia or whatever kind of fantasy they have somewhere in the middle of Europe uh, we're allied with Russia or balancing out everybody like uh, Mr. Vucic. Yeah? The Orban's uh, vision of Central Europe uh, together with Vucic and with Kurz or Nehammer Basically, it's Wolfgang Schüssel still dominating the foreign policy of Austria in regards uh, to this strategic disaster, which is the Russian-Austria 
and it's a very big shame. You can see that how he protects Deripaska, how he protects Firtash, how he protects uh, all these Russian energy interests in Vienna. They have not confiscated anything. They have only had two cases of suspicion. While Italy and France are confiscating millions, they have not done anything. And that's really very wrong. <laughs> This is really very wrong and must be changing, yeah? must be changed. Yeah? And I call Austria to really join the West. And I call what uh, here in Macedonia is very clear, the NATO membership. Macedonia is now a member. Austria is still out. Austria pivoting to Russia. It's an absolute disaster. And Wolfgang Schüssel, Nehammer Kurz, you can all replace them. And there must be some moral people in the uh, Austrian People's Party still who will not tolerate such a policy. And today the visit of shame at three o'clock, uh, it's the 11th of April, Monday, in Kremlin, must be the turning point where the whole crashed foreign policy of the last 15 years is coming to an end game and Europe must isolate and sanction Austria to put Article 7 against Austria and do and treat it the same like Orban's uh, Hungary because it's absolutely disaster and I'm really ashamed of this reasonable visit. Thanks a lot for listening here, for Pax Europeana here from Tetovo, from NATO secured and NATO member North Macedonia on the way to the European Union and Austria is a false friend, be careful it's not really supportive, that's the fact. We have to return to the West in Austria before we are really uh, having a good foreign policy for the Balkans again to support the NATO allies, Macedonia, Albania and Montenegro in 2024. That's what I want and the end of the Russian pivot of the Austrian foreign policy. Thanks a lot for listening. More to come from Pax Arubiana. Bye.